difficult, how difficult is it to keep a cool head when someone like Andy Ruiz is marching you down over 12 rounds? It's all about preparation. As I said, one day when I release a book, I'll talk through my career. Listen, careers are all about experience. There's no losing, there's no winning. It's just about creating great memories in this game that we all love. I took my L and I bounced back. Anyone can do it. Life is a roller coaster. What do you want me to do? Give up. I hear certain man saying, oh, I should retire, I should retire. Come on, man. We love this sport. Andy, are you ready to retire? Are you ready to retire? Exactly, he's a warrior. He wants to go again. Please respect us. This is what we love to do. I respect Andy. Who wants to see the third fight? So let's ask that question. It's 1-1. One, one. Let's talk about the future. Would you do it again? Without a doubt. Listen. If you heard, we're going to do it a third. <laughs> so we just heard Dare from the African matador himself, Anthony, the landlord Joshua Anthony, the PhD boxing connoisseur, the PhD boxing professor. Yeah, that's what we do know. <laughs> I didn't know Andy Ruiz is scary, you know. Andy Ruiz, I'm pretty sure Andy Ruiz talked about how he never got a... A high school education. Well, you've been. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about no high school education. Luckily for you, you've been given a uni. You've been given your full university honors. Yeah, Anthony Joshua has blessed Andy Ruiz with a <laughs> has blessed Andy Ruiz with a MSc in boxing. Gave him a good proper. Gave him a fundamental. Gave him a distinction. Yeah, a PhD level schooling. That's what he did get. Anyway, <laughs> too funny, man. Listen. We just heard there from the man himself, the landlord. Yeah, that's what we did do. We heard from him. And I've got a, these words here are essentially reminding the haters that when you stay winning, this, again, this is going to cut. Let me be honest. I've spoke about this before, but I've, I've come from the dark side. I used to, AJ used to grate on me. I used to be a certified hater. I used to hate the success. I used to feel like, why, why him? Why not me? But at the end of the day... <laughs> It's horses for courses. Sometimes you just got to worry about your own self, worry about your own life. But the reason I give you that background is to say that tonight there's going to be a lot of people drinking, drinking hard as well. Don't drink too hard, not on AJ's behalf anyway. Do you know what I mean? Don't be drink I know there's going to be a lot of you dons who are out there, brock pocket, feeling a certain type of way because you wanted him to be dragged down to your level. Unfortunately, it's not one of them ones. It's winning. And you man are going to be hurting. But don't drown that sorrow in alcohol. It's not the one. What you need to do is let your, let the, let the jealousy and let the hate just, let it rise off your soul. It's weighing you down. I know, don't get me wrong. For the last six months, you man have been on a high. You man have been feeling too, too nice. You've been feeling way too nice. But now the reality is hit again. Is winning. And all that. All that weightlifter talk, all that this, that, the other talk has gone clean out the window. Gone out the window and he told you there. Oh, oh me, you need to retire. Oh, he, he, even who, who was it? In fact, who was it? Who was it? There was, in fact, there was loads of goons saying it. Loads of goons. Carl Froch, loads of, a bagger man was saying it. Oh yeah, I don't know. If he loses this fight, he's got to retire. Oh yeah, depends how he loses, all this goofy stuff. And then, man, these people actually know AJ as well. And what gets me is, if you're a type of way, yeah, like Conor McGregor, for example, he rubs people up the wrong way, very disrespectful, etc., etc. Now, if people wish him not well, then that's one thing, because you kind of give it out and you expect it. But the way AJ comes across, he loses his humble. People accuse him of being juiced, his humble. He's tested unparalleled amount, he's tested 30 times in two weeks. And still, see what I mean? The, my point is, no matter what, he stays, he keeps it a trill, but still, there's hating dudes. And it says, all it says about is yourself, to be honest, because I have to look at myself as well. And that's probably, to be fair, a lot of mine was to do with my age as well. Like, I don't know, maybe it wasn't, I don't know, either way, the fact of the matter is, you can only, the hate, yeah, no matter how many times AJ lost, you, your, your heart is, and your head is still going to be with, filled with hate. Because that's all you've got in there. What you need to do is put the drink down, put the ciggies down, and f just, 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 just become 
comfortable in yourself. Simple as that. That's what it comes down to. Because you, man, I don't care what no one says. Anyone who was wishing for AJ to lose, it was because you're not happy with your own life. It's as simple as that. That's the, I don't care what no one says. No one who is sitting there, oh yeah. And, and you can tell, you know, if the way certain people speak, like Tony Bellend, as an example, he's not happy with his life. Yes, he's rich. Yes, he's famous or whatever, but he's not happy. Do you think he's happy that he went out flat on his back with his legs in the air? He's not happy with that. He was hoping, you know what I mean? Put it this way. AJ takes his first loss, and all of a sudden, Tony Bellew goes from... Listen, I know word of a lie. Tony Bellew at one point said that AJ would beat Wilder and Fury on the same night. That's what he did say. Yeah? AJ takes his first loss. Tony Bellew gets an interview. Oh, yeah, we can't deny it. Fury's the best heavyweight. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't possibly say AJ's the best heavyweight now. Well, I thought, wait there a minute. You changed it real quick. What happened to that? Well, that's well goofy, that is. You're meant to be his boy. You know him. I don't even know him from Adam. But as a supporter, you haven't heard, heard them words come out of my mouth. As an example, Tony Bell, you actually knows him. Oh, brother Josh. Oh yeah, brother Josh. How can brother? How can you say that about brother Josh? How can you demote someone that quickly off of one loss? And watch how quick my man Belen gets back on the bandwagon as well. Hop, hop straight back on the bandwagon, hella quick. But it comes down to, as I was saying, it's about the mentality of hating dudes. Tony Bellew has a lot of jealousy in his heart. Now don't get me wrong, when AJ was winning, 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 he, he's not one of them haters. He he was happy to, to ride in the bandwagon, but there's, there's, there's different type of haters. There's some haters who just hate all the time. There's other haters who will, bandwagon haters, who will ride the bandwagon when it's good. The minute they see a bit of, oh, this, the weather's a bit rough here, they jump off. Yeah, they jump off. And where did Tony Bellen jump off? He jumped off the AJ bandwagon and hopped on the Fury bandwagon. That's how, that's how, that's how, that's how's the calibre of the man. One minute you're rating, one minute you're literally, Tony Bell, you literally spent his last three years of his career mugging Fury off. Fury don't want to fight me. Fury is scared of me. AJ will, Fury don't want no parts of AJ. Next thing you know, he's talking about how great Fury is. Oh, Fury's the, yeah, I'm sorry, Fury's just the greatest boxer since sliced bread. I thought, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Now, it's, this isn't all about Tony Bellew, but it's about the mentality, yeah? Fury, no good, don't fight anyone. And they all kind of, them type of people, they all group together. Tony Bellew, Fury, they're all in that kind of little sub subset together. Where they always, you'll always notice Bellew, Fury, always hating on AJ, always hating on the guy who doing things they can't do. And let's get it straight. Fury himself has always said, oh, AJ, oh, how come I didn't, how come when I beat Vlad, oh, the fans didn't love me like they love AJ. It's always been about AJ, oh, AJ, oh, how come AJ gets this, how come AJ gets that, even Fury's dad, oh, oh, I bet if AJ beat Vlad, then the Queen would have given, the Queen would have drove her car for AJ, just all this goofy stuff, worrying way too much about another man, and the scary thing is, I'm Brock Pocket. So when I was when I was sour, it made sense. These men are rich. Tony Bell, you and Tyson Fury are rich, but yet still, and Wilder, they're meant to be rich, but they're still all they want to talk about is AJ. It's weird. It's goofy. <laughs> you should be having your own business. But it just shows to show that a male mind, or even a woman, but a, a human mind is fragile regardless of your status as such. And I say all that because these individuals, like Fury, Fury just goes life and death with Wallin. Fury gets sparkled by Wilder. Wilder don't want to fight no one but old men. Tony Bellew goes in there, gets a bit of hype from David Hay, knocking out David Big Toe, Mr. Achilles Heel, Mr. Shot to Pieces, and then he gets sparkled by Usyk, and that really grated on Bellew. As a fighter, as a man, he that grates on him. The fact that he went out on his back, essentially. That's what he did do. He went out, spark out, yeah? There's going out, and then there's going out, out. Tony Bell, you ended his career, what we call, spark out, spark. In fact, Tony Bell, you ended his career with not even a spark in his brain. There was no sparks left. He was sparked out. <laughs> there was no electrical e activity going on in his brain when his career finished. And that grates on him. And he was hoping, yeah, that's what you hear these people saying. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure if AJ, I'm not sure if AJ can come back if he loses again. They're hoping, t Tony Bell, you and the rest of them, they're hoping that, that AJ will end his career like their career ended. At least, because then it makes them feel a bit more human. Oh, thankfully. Oh, isn't that good? At least AJ, at least this great guy has now fallen to my level. At least we can sit there and feel guilty together. It makes people feel better. Yeah? Loneliness loves, or, or hatred and loneliness and depression loves company as such. 
They love to be, they love to be, oh yeah, uh, they love to drag people down to their level, but unfortunately, there's going to be a lot of dons, as I told you already, there's going to be a lot of dudes who are going to be sour tonight, there's a lot of you man need to be on suicide watch, you want to be sour, it's going to be real, it's going to real cut you deep, that's what he's going to be doing, because your man's on top, confident as you like, he stood there, chest pumped out, and just glistening, no homo, but I wanted to be, I almost wanted to be part of AJ then, do you know what I mean, when I saw him, <laughs> Like I said, no homo, but I wanted, almost wanted to be, in fact, if I was homo, I, I wanted to be, yeah, in fact, let me not even go down, there. listen, end of the day, <laughs> what I'm saying is, is that, yeah, I want, you, you almost want, you almost want a part of it, you, you know what I mean, you always want, you almost want to touch it, that's what it's like, but, it's one of them ones, listen, all I can say is, this man is a special individual, very special, and no one's, well, not going to say no one, but, He's one of them ones. I called it months ago. AJ is one of them ones. Usain Bolt, Michael Phelps, um, who name it? You name it. Floyd Mayweather, whoever you want to name at that ultra ultra level, he gets it under the lights. He can perform, and to see him after June first, to see him come out as he did, he waltzed out of the changing rooms and on the ring walk. He literally swaggered out, and I, I couldn't believe it. And, I, and the minute he swaggered out, I knew that it was game over for Ruiz. He swaggered out. He balled into the ring. He looked, he looked glistening in there. He looked massive. He stood there, and he, that was the end of it. Yeah, you could just tell. Com different games switched up, and I knew, I knew at that point that that's the dude, that's the man there. And I'm, I'm. It's scary, you know. It's scary now because before these last six months, people have been asking questions, and I've got to be honest, I was asking questions as well. Like, oh, has he got the, has he got the mindset? Is he? And that's what I've, I said a few days ago that this fight's going to prove to me: is AJ the man? Or is he not? Like, this is going to be... And it takes a lot. Unfortunately, it takes a loss. Because whilst you're winning, there is no real test. You can't really... You can't... You don't test someone when they're winning. Anyone can win, 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 win. Well, no. That's not true. But the best... The, the time you see whether someone's going to break or not, or whether someone's the real deal, is after a loss. It's very hard to tell who can't come back after a win as such. Do you know what I mean? W what makes the difference? Can you come back after a loss? A devastating loss. And he not only came back, he fought the same man... And murked him. And did it with a smile on his face. And did it with a menace in nature. Beautiful performance. Beautiful words from AJ. And I'm just I'm just happy for the dude man. Truly happy. And I'm happy that. I know I wasn't part of it like that. But I'm happy that. Yeah. You know, tell you I do. I do kind of feel part of it still. Obviously not physically speaking. But I do feel. Like I own a small part of that. So yeah. Big ups to the dude. Have a good night. And just finally actually. Before I put this video out, I just started thinking that I've just given AJ all these credits of how great he looked and how confident he looked. But what makes this even more special for me is the fact that despite all them things, he could be completely losing his head like Ruiz did. He could be thinking he's the man. Not that Ruiz, Ruiz hasn't been disrespectful, but he could have, he could have lost all his discipline. Yeah, AJ could have lost himself in all the hype, all the fame, all the riches, all the attention. But instead, despite him being this confident and whatever man... Um, this, this, yeah, this, whatever individual, despite all them great things, he's always been able to keep it 100. He's always been able to keep it cliche humble as such. But in reality, that's his true self. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, he's not saying stay humble to, for the sake of it. He actually is that way. And that's what makes this so special, for me anyway. Because most of us people, if we was in that situation, we'd be too gassed off ourselves. It'd be simple. We'd be, we'd be like whoever. You know what I mean? Like, them, all them goofy dudes who end up losing it all that's what would really happen so he, despite from a young age all the way through he's been able to keep it 100 not lose himself in all this all the madness which is even more yeah wow crazy man he truly deserves it truly earned wicked and just finally big love to my dog pat ob and donnell the don richardson for coming through and showing love on the patreon anyone else who wants to receive exclusive daily content from the yb and interact come through patreon.com slash the yb and i'll see you man over there respect